It's Friday, the 18th of May, 2012. I'm Alex Jones, and this is another edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight. They, they rape your privacy on the phone. They rape your privacy on the email. They rape your daughter in the airport. They rape your son in schools. How long are you gonna sit and put up with being raped? Alex Jones speaks with FBI translator and 9-11 whistleblower, Seabell Edmonds. Then, the war against our children. Another child is ripped from its parents and fed psychotropic drugs by Child Protective Services. Plus, Chicago prepares for the invasion of NATO as 40 federal agents man secret command centers outside the city. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Coming up first, we're going to look at Obama and the absolute proof on top of proof that he was not born in this country and is being blackmailed. And then some very painful information we have to cover, but please bear with us for this. Warning, though, you probably don't want your children watching this. Well, maybe you do so they understand that how criminal the state is and how they're preying on them. So I guess children do have to see this, even though it's dangerous and scary and frightening, so that they understand uh, that they cannot trust the system, they cannot trust their teachers, they cannot trust their doctors, they can trust no one but their parents, because we are living in a total New World Order, Soviet-slash-fascist, nightmare where they've combined every system of authoritarianism, giant kidnapping rings, murdering children in mass coming up. I'm not kidding. You're going to see total proof of this. Uh, shakes me to my very core. I spent most of the radio show today on this. That's coming up. First off, let's look at Barack Obama. I wasn't a birther four and a half years ago. I was like, really? Born in Kenya? I mean, why would they do that? Then I learned that Hillary had used it against him. She'd brought it forward because she had all the FBI dossiers. The Clintons still run Washington, basically. So they're in their third term through blackmailed Obama. And I learned all the background. His wife, Michelle, in speeches saying he was born in Kenya. They visited his homeland. We played those clips before. Just type in Michelle. Says that Obama visited his homeland, Kenya. You'll get the video clips. It's all over the place. Uh, his fake first birth certificate, the second fake one was ridiculously fake. A five-year-old made it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable with a fake typewriter font where all the typewriter fonts are the same when each one is different. Uh, the fact that he was Barry Sotero and they denied that in Indonesia and then later they went, oh yeah, he was Barry Sotero and, you know, got Indonesian citizenship. You can only give up your U.S. citizenship and get that at the time. It's all on record. Uh, all the weirdness, the CIA family, all of it. Why would they want someone who wasn't a U.S. born to blackmail him and to get everybody involved in a lie so big that no one would want to challenge it? Because all the laws he signed on to in the last three and a half years, they're null and void. That's the big enchilada right there. That's the big kahuna. Paul Watson has a big article uh, breaking all of this down at Infowars.com. Uh, but Breitbart broke it yesterday. It turns out his literary agent, his publicist that he still uses from 91 to 2007, that's 16 and a half years, said that he was born in Kenya and then lived in Indonesia and Hawaii. Well, that's what our research shows. And you got researchers going on over there and, and, and trying to see his uh, birth certificate and being detained and arrested like Dr. Corsi. Uh, you've got uh, things going on there uh, as well. I mean, I'm just giving you some background right now. Bush, we later learned, this is official State Department. It's public info. It's, it's in our article, Evidence Obama Born in Kenya Goes Beyond 1991 Brochure. And you learned that Obama... Um, the Bush administration sent their ambassador to find out to the Kenyans. They said, was he born here? Because Hillary's saying this. And they said, yeah, we've gone to the birth files. It's been cut out. It appears to be a criminal action. So you don't cut out records that weren't there. You understand that? Oh, well, he's not there. Well, don't cut it out. They cut it out. And so it just piles up. And then, boom, for 16-plus years, they put out different publications, including promotion of his uh, book, Dreams of My Father, saying, born in Kenya, first president of the law review who was black at Harvard. I mean, this is wild. Born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia. And there's the Breitbart uh, watermark on there. And the media came out and said, you know what? It's a typo. You're right. For 16 plus years, we said this. I mean, folks, this is in publications every month promoting him. This is in big magazines. This is everywhere and never corrected it. I mean, give me a break. 
If the media said in the New York Times or Washington Post that I was born in Russia or born in China or born in Timbuktu, I would go on air and say, correct that. <sighs> Man, we are in deep trouble. I mean, I already knew he wasn't born here and we don't know who he really is. He's got all these other fake names and all his records are sealed. But to really come to grips with, wow, we're right again. You know, I want to be wrong. You understand? I don't want it to be so bad. I don't want this to be true. We're the only teleprompter free news in the country. You think I'm happy about that? Oh, we're the only teleprompter free. Wow, that makes us different. Wow, we'll be successful. It means nothing I have 15 viewers and listeners a week, 3 million a day. Because conservative. It's over a million and a half now on the websites every day. You think I'm glad about that? Well, I'm glad I can reach people, but it's not about Alex Jones, folks. It's about you taking action and you doing little things every day that'll bring these people down. People are like, well, big deal if he's born in Kenya. What's the big deal? Folks, he's totally compromised. The Clintons wanted to beat him. Then they found out about this and blackmailed him at Bilderberg. I was there covering it. About to go again in a couple weeks, a week and a half. I can't believe this is already upon us. You think I'm happy to go to Bilderberg? I got to do it. It's a responsibility. You think it's fun? I don't want to scare you folks, the stuff I went through last time. This is real is what I'm saying. <sighs> that just blows me away. Within hours of this, the text editor of the big PR firm that he still is listed with came out and said, oh, I'm sorry, it's a mistake. That's where this whole rumor came from. Really, no one knew about this the last four and a half years. It was all the other fake documents. So don't say the birther rumor came from your original information that was wrong. You understand how they spin things? I mean, what a transparent spin right there. The vetting, exclusive, Obama literary agent, 91 booklet, born in Kenya and raised in Indonesia and Hawaii. It doesn't get any more bombshell than that.